Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Anna. I am a transformational trainer and dance coach. And in this video I would like to share my story about my dance pass. So, I remember how at age of five years uh, my father once asked me what lessons I would like to take dancing, drawing or swimming. I remember that my mom always talked about uh, swimming lessons like about something bad because she was a swimmer in school and um, dancing. It just like I had inside of me some blockage that I shouldn't take dance classes. And uh, there was only drawing left, so I chose drawing. But to be honest, uh, dancing was, I will say, like in my blood. I really liked to dance uh, since I was a child. And uh, I remember how I liked par to parody people, how I liked to dress up, to change my different clothes. And um, I remember also like at age, in my teens, like uh, 12, 14 age old, I was uh, taking my parents' radio and I was dance dancing in my room. It was a nice time, I really enjoyed this moment. And then uh, in my native country, Ukraine, we had a TV show that called uh, Dancing with the Stars. It was a very cool show where professional ballroom dancers were dancing with uh, just TV stars or singers. And it was so well done. And uh, I fell in love with this dance, with uh, emotions, with all this uh, vibes, with all the show. And I really wanted to sign up for ballroom da dancing, ballroom dance classes. And uh, my mom took me in and brought to different schools in our district, but actually nothing met my expectations, unfortunately. And the only thing that I found attractive, it was actually salsa lessons. It was in the school nearby and um, unfortunately there were no guys, only girls. And um, we ended up by dancing a lot of solo movements and also sometimes one of the girls would uh, some girls will take role of the guy, so a dance partner. And uh, I actually really enjoyed it. But unfortunately, our teacher got sick. And uh, at the end, uh, classes were cancelled. And I took a little break for a few months. Afterwards, I got lucky and I was able to sign up for ballroom dance, dancing, ballroom dance classes. But uh, this time I realized I realized that I didn't really it's it wasn't really what I was looking for. So I took a year of uh, ballroom dance classes and uh, in the summer with my friend uh, we liked to go outside to walk uh, in um, in the area of the river. And uh, in, my, in my native city, every year when it's warm, there, there are cool parties near to the river. Uh, so in my native city, we, ha we have like a big seafront that was uh, uh, the best place for walking. And uh, seeing how people were dancing over there, it was so entertaining. I wanted so much to be on their place and uh, at the end with my friend we signed up for social Latin social dancing, salsa and bachata. And it was great summer. I was able, in few lessons I was able to dance outside and enjoy those moments. It was beautiful, a 
So this year in 20, 2010, I started to take my salsa and bachata lessons. I think I forgot to mention that uh, I started to dance at age of 14, it was 2007. And uh, so I went back uh, in 2010. And this is, was the moment when I started to dance and I took a lot of lessons. Um, I learned uh, Salsa Casino, Salsa Los Angeles, Salsa New York, also Timba, African Rumba, Cuban Son, Cha Cha Cha, Brazilian Zouk, Kizomba, I think Zouk. Everything what was available in my city, I think I took classes of everything. And um, I also have to say that um, dancing for me was like a guilty pleasure. So in my real life, I had some obligations. I had to do like, for example, to study in uh, architecture, uh, to become an architect. And um, dancing was just uh, my guilty pleasure when I had the free time. I went to the parties and it was great. I could feel myself free, I could enjoy my life, I could, I could feel myself alive and it was great. And um, unfortunately all this my illusions of achievement of uh, someone else's goals, of living someone else's life, they didn't, brought, they didn't bring me to success or to the happiness and uh, also you know I remember the moment I was thinking like mm, if I would be able to have another life I would become a professional dancer I was really sort of regretting that I didn't have uh, another life just to become a dancer to achieve my own dreams because being an architect it was more um, expectations of my parents of my family because this is nice and prestigious work and uh, dancing as a dance teacher it's not prestigious and uh, it's not very respectful and you can't earn money and stuff but after a series of failures I thought that I was a good girl. Actually, I was uh, trying to meet the expectations of people I loved. And um, it, didn't, it didn't bring me happiness because I didn't choose my own dreams, my own desires. And uh, I thought that if this time I will try to do what I really love, what my heart wants, maybe this time I will be successful. So it was like for me like an experiment because before I did everything right like according to the society but I wasn't happy, I wasn't satisfied and uh, I didn't get uh, success and uh, this time I decided to follow my heart and my dreams and uh, my intuition uh, you know, uh, I really dreamed to become a professional dancer. And when I say a professional dancer, for me this is a person who has studied since uh, childhood, is very flexible, has all necessary skills and abilities of a professional dancer. And of course, uh, in 2019, when I was already 26, I couldn't expect from myself something like that because yes, by this time I already had, uh, I need to calculate, okay, 12 years of experience, but it was in social dancing and people who learn social dancing, they know that uh, there is a big uh, accent on the idea that it's social dancing, you can dance in any age, in any shape, so it's convenient for everyone. And that's why this, um, there is no strict um, um, 
demands for physical, for the shape, for physical abilities of the body. Of course, so of course I didn't have this uh, flexibility, I didn't have perfect balance, I didn't have good convenient body, I didn't have proper posture because, because I had the problem, some problems with my back. And, uh, but I was like, okay, I will follow my intuition, I will follow my uh, feeling and I will try. And uh, as we know, in social dancing it's possible to find your place even without having all this professional dance, dancing skills. And I was hoping for that, that I will find my own place. But to be honest, I really, I really, me, I had a lack of belief of in myself. I didn't really believe. I thought I was crazy, to be honest. I was like, oh my god, but 26 years old, you don't have all these skills, all these abilities. What do you want? But, uh, but I tried to follow my heart. And now, three years later, I'm like, Oh my god, everything is possible. Now I know how body, our body functions. And I know how to teach. I know how to learn. And I know how to improve your body. How to work with your body. With awareness. How to be aware of what you are doing. And how it is, and how it is important for achieving your goals. And age doesn't matter. What does matter? It's your intention, your desire, your readiness to do it, your motivation, your readiness to fulfill your dreams. And uh, now uh, I understand that all my fears, all my doubts, it's, it's nothing. Yes, uh, because of my ignorance, I had some doubts before, but now with my experience, with my knowledge, I know that everything is possible and uh, I want to share it with other people. I want to help other people to achieve their dance dreams, also to find connection with their bodies and uh, enjoy, uh, enjoy dancing, enjoy themselves, enjoy this beautiful life. So I hoped, so I hope you liked this video and maybe it was even useful for you. And um, I hope to see you in my next videos. Thank you for watching this one and bye.